Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan, thanks for coming by. So I was just sitting here, you know, eating my breakfast, drinking my morning coffee when I, you know, I go into onto Google. This is what I do every morning. And I type in Uber News. And um, something really cool actually happened. So the other week I was interviewed by a reporter for The Atlantic and her name is Taylor Lorenz. And I was actually featured in, in, in a huge news article. Sorry, I'm nervous, this is like crazy. So um, the Rideshare Hub is now on the news. So this is really cool. It's on The Atlantic, There, that's a huge company. Um, but yeah, she's like a staff reporter and she talked to me. We talked on the phone, had a nice conversation. Um, she used some of my, you know, it was not a paid thing or anything. Um, but yeah, we had a conversation. She used some of my, my words, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I can't talk today. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because I do think it is really cool. And I also wanted to hear your opinion on the subject that we talked about. We talked, it was about car fresheners, um, which by the way, um, let me just show you guys really quickly. I now have personal air fresheners. This is a car freshener. Speaking of which, <laughs> look at that. What do you guys think of that? Would you guys want one of these? These are not currently for sale, but if we do, if I do get enough people who say that they do want one, maybe I can just do a giveaway or, or sell some. I don't know. I'll probably just give a few away, but let me know if you do want one of these things. Um, yeah, the company is called Aerotax. They are really great. This isn't like a, a sponsored video or anything. I just wanted to share them with you, but basically like it, these are like reusable. <clears throat> this is made out of wood. And then you like do put a couple of drops on these things um, on the wood of this oil. And it does smell good, it's not like overpowering or anything. But anyways guys, <laughs> now on to the article. Again, if, yeah, I just wanted to thank these guys because they just sent me this out of nowhere, um, which I thought was really cool. Not sponsored, not paid or anything. Still broke out here. <laughs> um, okay, so here is the news article. I'll leave a link, <clears throat> a link in the description if you guys do want to check it out. It's called, Uber's, Uber's drivers, oh, Uber's drivers and riders are locked in a pine-scented battle. So basically, Taylor Lorenz, she is a staff reporter for The Atlantic in New York, and she has found, and I guess other people have found that, like, a lot of Uber drivers are, like, putting in a bunch of car freshers in, in their cars, and riders are complaining, like, the, where is it? There's a couple photos of this guy. This one would like went around on Twitter. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, there's like 18 car fresheners. This guy is like 20. <laughs> this guy is like 14, nine, nine air fresheners in this Uber and very little options and send help. Um, yeah, this guy has one on each headrest. That's pretty nuts. Um, yeah, so like, I don't know what are your guys' opinions on um, car fresheners. I'm gonna share with you. I guess Harry Campbell was actually on this one too. He said, air fresheners seem to be more prevalent in very hot and very cold climates where drivers can't just open the windows between rides to air out the cars. Um, a former rideshare driver. Okay, so I guess Harry Campbell does not drive for Uber anymore. Here is the big news, guys. <laughs> um, I don't like to start drama, but I do think that is pretty funny. Um, because I think it was kind of ambiguous if he stopped or is still a driver. But here we say, I guess he doesn't drive anymore. He's the founder of the Rideshare Guy, a rideshare industry blog that blah, blah, blah. We all know that. Um, and he says drivers with the worst smelling cars may not even know it. Dun, 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 dun. Campbell's also seen many drivers accumulate air fresheners. By the way, I'm a huge fan of Harry Campbell, of the Rideshare Guy. He's a great dude, so... <laughs> Little disclaimer, I just thought that was funny that it says former rideshare driver because like he's the rideshare guy and he doesn't drive anymore. <laughs> like whatever, I don't care. I mean he's making tons of money obviously um, with the rideshare guy and his blog and his podcast and um, 
He's also, I don't know if you guys have checked out his LinkedIn, but he's an advisor on like 17 different companies, <laughs> like rideshare companies. And if, when you're an advisor, you get equity and usually they pay you, which I'm pretty sure he now gets paid um, to be an advisor. But yeah, um, people collect them almost like metals, he said. <laughs> on a recent ride, he spotted nine air fresheners hanging from the rear view mirror. Um, Rating this driver four stars, not enough air fresheners. That's actually hilarious. Um, but yeah, let me go to, I guess I can go to just, yeah, I mean, basically they're just talking about drivers just saying they're trying to provide a pleasant ride. I guess they're just, I mean, the article's really, really long. I don't want to go through it all because that'll take, you know, a couple years, <laughs> a couple hours, but you can read it. I just wanted to highlight my part and then Harry Campbell's part. Um, let's see, let me just type in here. Here we go. Oh guys, there it is, the rideshare hub, see that? Boom, uh, okay. Some drivers aware of, sh aware of shifting consumer press preferences try not to overdo it. Dylan, a rideshare driver who runs a YouTube channel called Do 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 The Rideshare Hub. And if you click that link, takes you straight to my YouTube channel. Get those views, baby. Oh, no, I lost my space. Okay, here we go. Some drivers, aware of shifting consumer prices, try not to overdo it. The Retro Hub says that when he does use air fresheners, he goes very light because he's aware most passengers don't like strong smells. When Esparza, <laughs> he, she calls me by my, that's not even my real last name. That's pretty funny. That's like my mom's last name, but also I use that Dylan Esparza um, for acting, but that's like my stage name. Um, he stocked up on air fresheners. I tried out several fresheners in the beginning and found out I was allergic. I realized a lot of pastors probably are as well. Now he uses charcoal bags to soak up any errant smells from the smokers and alike. Yeah, guys, actually, this is like a secret that I discovered, which maybe I'll include that in another video. But if you guys want literally the best, like, thing to cancel out odors in your car, um... Use, use these things called charcoal bags. Like I use, cause when I, basically the reason why I use these is because when I bought my car, I bought it used from a friend and she, I'm allergic to dogs and I don't like like dog smell like nobody does. But she had her dog like in the car all the time. And so I wanted to get that out, that smell out. And I was trying everything on my car detailed, used tons of air fresheners, like literally nothing worked. And these things actually did work. Um, I typed in like anti-odor things and I came across these and I was like, I'll try it. But yeah, type in like charcoal bags on Amazon, charcoal bags, odor absorber. These things work so well. Like they literally make your car s like smell like nothing, <laughs> like actually fresh. They, I don't know what they do. And then they're actually reusable. So the one that I had is like every 30 days, you're supposed to leave it out in the sun for like 12 hours or something or eight hours and then um yeah and then you can like put it back in your car or whatever in these are not just for your car you can put this in your room or like in your house or something um yeah it also says like gym bag deodorizer it's just closet dehumidifier like it's just an odor killer so that's what i use and then i use that and then one of these like little tiny vanilla ones which like whatever that's I don't know. But yeah, do you guys use air fresh car fresheners? Let me know. <clears throat> Again, if you do want one of these Ratcher Hub car fresheners, let me know in the comment section. Um, they're by Aerotags. I'll leave a link to these guys just because they sent me this thing. I mean, yeah, it's not sponsored or anything, but um, maybe they'll send me some more if I put their link in the description. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe so you never miss another video on uber and lyft let me know do you use car fresheners do you, like i don't know what is, what is everybody doing i don't know every what everybody's doing so all right guys i'll talk to you all soon the rideshare hub is now on the atlantic so you can say i can say that we're on the news website um yeah i'll leave the link for this in the description for that article as well all right guys i'm gonna go to the gym i will talk to you all soon bye guys